welcome to Stonemouth. As you approach the Tower's Twilight, a rather uh, modest, blue-collar-ish, but clean and well-kept tavern. Again, like every other shop here, carved into the rock wall of the uh, the Sunwalker Mountains. And um, as you walk in, you can see that in this tavern, even the furniture is carved from the stone. Mm. Oh. Uh, the, the benches and the tables around, uh, the, ta- the tables themselves and the benches are like these pedestals that have been finely polished and ground down over time that... Uh, Everywhere you look, everything here is made of stone. There is a rotund, beardless dwarf uh, walking around, uh, wiping off tables. He has uh, several hoop gold earrings in his right ear, and he has sort of a friar tuck pattern baldness going on, but very dwarven. Oh, good afternoon. Uh, Welcome to Tower's Twilight. Hmm. Talkative group, are you? (laughs) (laughs) Yeah. I'm going to hold my sister close to me. I'm not going to say a word. <laughs> <laughs> well, I guess we need a table for six. Table for six? No problem. Nine. Nine. Yeah. Excuse me. Nine. Uh, sure. Uh, take your pick. And uh, there's a few people in here, but it's uh, it's fairly wide open. So you can you get maybe like one of the longer benches toward uh, toward the back wall. And uh, surprisingly comfortable for the fact that you're sitting on stone benches. You wouldn't expect them to be quite this comfortable. Could they be ground out like bucket seats? Yeah. <laughs> I was just thinking, like, yeah, yeah, does it, it like look a... like a butt? <laughs> no, <laughs> no, people's butts. A little bit. There is a slight depression in them. They appear to have been rounded out. Very dwarves Warm. and stone, man. Mm-hmm. So very well, well uh, crafted. And we also have um, our ward with us, too. So there's ten of us. I, oh, that should ten, yeah. Okay. So one extra person. Are we using the... Are we getting rooms with the money from the horses? Is that what we're doing? Mm. Okay. A round of ale is brought for everyone, and he just sort of leaves you to your business. Oh, uh, well, we want to ask for rooms. Oh, no problem. I have plenty of rooms. Uh, is everyone getting their own? How many rooms? Ten rooms? Five rooms? What are you looking for? Um, and then you, will, you need one with you and your sisters. Uh-huh. Uh, I, I at least want one just for me and my sisters. Yeah. Okay, so let's go one room. I don't mind buddying up. I'll we'll go buddy, with Kara. Uh, okay. We'll buddy up. Yeah, okay. Okay, yeah. we're going to go rooms. exploring later anyway. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> one, two, and I guess three, four, five. Four, five. So we need five rooms. Two in each. Two. One's coming. Four. You and your sisters. Yeah. Morpheus and Lilith. Uh-huh. Eleanor and Kara. Lorelai and Althea. Yeah. Four rooms. Yeah, what? Shut up. Okay. You and your fancy math skills. <laughs> okay. okay. How, how much for four rooms? Is that your character telling me to shut up? Or is that you telling me? That was hard. Uh, it's, that it's, was hard. It's uh, it's white. Like, 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 shut up. Off the record, on. Oh, excuse me. Okay. Six, six, that one would because just because we would be kicked out already if this was the other way. Oh, uh, okay. So <laughs> we're sleeping outside. <laughs> Four rooms, ten people. Uh, assuming you want the breakfast and dinner in the tavern, I can include that in the prices. So for the rooms and the meals for everybody, uh, we'll say six gold per person per day. No, six gold total per day. Six gold total per day. Six gold per day. We'll give him twelve gold. Two days. Welcome to the Tower of Twilight. Okay, so... Twelve gold. At least for two nights. Do I have a hot bath idea. and candles? I'm actually, I'm actually bad at brogues. I'm actually not very good at a Scottish brogue, so I make my dwarves Russian. That's cool. <laughs> Sounds better. My dwarves are all Russians. <laughs> so. I know, it sounds so I'm Russian. better at a Russian accent than I am a Scottish brogue. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I can do a brog, but it's not as good as my Russian. My Russian is much better. So welcome to the Tower's Twilight. And he just slides the 12 gold into his coin purse. Okay. Oh, yeah. Excellent. Okay, so we have rooms. <clears throat> and you're bought, uh, you're brought, you're sort of like in between meal times. It's too late for lunch, it's too early for dinner. But he brings you a little bit of like there's bread and cheese, and he just kind of puts a little thing out for if everyone wants a mid afternoon nosh. Uh, so Lilith wants to go shopping. A little, yeah. A little okay. After 
and afternoon shopping. <laughs> Sounds good. After your afternoon tea? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Which I guess effectively that's what this would be. It would count Pretty as afternoon right. tea. Yeah. 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 High tea? Yeah. <laughs> High tea. Um, so they said smiling champion. I don't... Does, is anybody interested? Well, does anybody want to go shopping with me? Yeah, yes. I'll go check yeah, out yeah. to see what they got. Are, are, are you looking for armor? Are you looking for armor? No, no armor. No I'm looking armor. for something. I'll, I'll look Are for armor. Looking? Okay, so, well, I don't, I wasn't going to go to armor unless somebody else wanted it. it there's the smiling champ, and I, I really want to go to the mouse's vial, I think I wrote. Vial. I wrote vial. And then Faye Top's flight. I have so many healing potions. Are we all still stuck? I want to get some like, money before I go shopping, so that's you what I go want get to do. money yeah. before shopping. Yeah. That's a good idea. Um, okay, so do you want to go hit that that speakeasy yeah, first? Yeah, speak let's do it. Can I go to the speakeasy? No, no, you can't. Okay, she um, got her first kill. <laughs> Lorelei, to catch you up. Um, mm. Two days outside of Stonemouth, you actually found Althea's village. Okay. The village that she was from. And the family had offered for all of you to spend the night on their grounds. Mm-hmm. Now, is it like full on family, mother, father? Siblings. Yes, it was. Um, no, she was an only child, uh, mother and father. Okay, okay. She has decided to continue with the group. She's not going to stay in the village. Okay, did she have this conversation and I heard mm-hmm. it and it was there? Mm-hmm. Are we in that conversation now? Yes, we can do that now before we jump back into Stone Mouth. Okay. Lorelai is going to kind of look at her and why wouldn't you stay with your family? I. I don't think I meant to stay here. I feel like I'm getting pulled northeast. Does this does this have to do with the dreams you've been having? I've had a dream and I just keep thinking northeast toward Raven Wharves, which you would know is a port city on the northeast corner of the continent. I just keep feeling that I'm drawn there. And I've had a dream recurring the last couple of nights. A fox with many tails walking across a white bridge. I don't think I'm supposed to stay here. But you do realize here is safe. Yeah, but you you don't stay safe. Well, I have nothing to stay safe for. You I, have people to stay safe for. You have a mama, you have a papa. This I is know. home. And it'll always be home, but I don't know. I feel like I'm being pulled somewhere, and I think I need to go see it through. I mean, I think you're pretty crazy. I'll stay with you for a while. I mean, I like having you around. It's nice to have a friend. I, I don't know where you're headed, but I'll stay with you at least until you get to Stonemouth and... Eventually, I want to try and get to Raven Wharves. You realize who I travel with, though, right? Like, you've been around them. They can get pretty annoying. They're also pretty badass. They are pretty badass, especially Spot. Damn it. Do I hear this conversation? No, you do not. You do not None of us hear this conversation. conversation. God damn it. <laughs> Nobody hears this. I didn't even need to ask. I know Lorelai would have never said that in front of you. <laughs> so I didn't even need to ask where they were. I mean, Lilith is pretty cool. Kara's dead. I don't know about that. Ish. Ish. Yeah, she scares me a little. Yeah. And then there's the one that turns into the wolf thing. And I mean... Yeah, I try to not be near that no, when that a, happens. He's a dude, and I'm already wary of him. That's pretty smart. <laughs> I mean, Eleanor's pretty badass, too. Yeah, I, they, they are pretty badass. Okay. I mean, I'll be with you until... <laughs> the end until I can't be with you anymore but you have to you have to train a little bit you have to learn how to defend yourself a little bit like you have to learn how to hide behind the cart like I do and maybe shoot off an eldritch blast or two you see a little I'll cross her hands yeah I'm working on it when that when did that happen have you always had that no it's kind of new. Oh, Dianera. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Didn't I see her doing that already when we were in the... She hit you with an Eldritch Blast, but this was a little different. This was sort of like an electrical energy. Oh. Oh, that's right. That did happen because she did try to fry her ass. 
Yeah, you made her fry me at the fucking dining table. Like, we were all sitting around for dinner, right. and you were just like, attack. And I'm like, what? No, I was right. in the Okay. Well, you have to get stronger with it. You have to learn how to defend yourself. But you have to... I don't know. I'm worry about it. But I'll help you. Thank you. Okay. Maybe I can help you a little bit. What could you help me with? I don't know. We'll see when we get there. <sighs> the only thing you can help me with is maybe bringing spots out of pay or two, but other than that, let's go hang out with Lilith. <laughs> she makes <Okay>. me happy. <laughs> Okay, that out of the way. Mm-hmm. We're back at the table in Twi- Towers Twilight. Okay. Uh, I believe, Lilith, you were uh, yeah. organizing basically parties to go out and uh, clear the city out of its uh, ma- of magical loot. Magical loot. But I think, and Morpheus, you want to go gambling first, though, right? Yeah, I know you got loot already, but... Uh, he, he's yeah. a little low on cash. He wants to go see if we can get him some cash. For you me. would also know from your experience with these, most gambling dens don't get going until after hours. Oh. All right. And it's basically, it's like 3 p.m.-ish at this point. Oh. There we go. Right. I guess. Uh, well, I'm we can go, go home shopping. Sleep. Sleep. Yeah. Yeah. Sleep. <laughs> I was like, we can go shopping, and I'll save like 500 gold for later tonight. There are three magical shops in the city to catch you up, uh, Lorelai. There's the Smiling Champion, which is an armory. Mm-hmm. Uh, there is the Mouse's Vial, which is sort of just a general enchanters. Mm-hmm. And then there's Fate Top's Flight, which is more of like the healing potiony variety of magical store. Okay. I want to go check out Mouse's file. Okay. If wants to come with me. Yeah, I just want to see what they have. I might not buy on my first trip. I want to go to, um, and whatever we find that maybe we can't afford right away, we could just put it on hold. Yeah, there we go. Lay away? Lay away. <laughs> How's that for dating ourselves? <laughs> Lay away. Look that one up, kids. Okay. All right, so you're going to the Mouse's vial. So is that Spot and Lilith going? Who else is going, if, if anyone? Anybody else want to check out Mouse's Vile? No, I'll probably head to the Smiling. The Armory, yeah, okay. The armory. Oh, oh, I'm going to go to the Armory, too. Are, say, are we splitting, or is everyone going everywhere? It's okay, I just need to I want to go everywhere. Okay. I'll walk over to the, to the Smiling Champion first. Yeah, okay, I'll then I'll, I'll, assume, I'll assume you're all there. Okay. okay. All right, so we'll start at the Smiling Champion. You notice that as all the shops that you're passing, the decor doesn't change all that much from shop to shop, as it's all stone. It's all just carved out of the mountain with different engravings in the front to declare where the place is, uh, what, what the name of the store is. And almost everyone has two engravings on the front. There's in common and then in dwarvish. As you enter the Smiling Champion, you can see there's like... Titans that have been shaved down and stuck into the walls, and that's what the weapons and the armors hang- are hanging from. So it's very, very dwarvish, is that everything is clean and functional, but not necessarily elegant. Ne- you know, it's all sort of rough and rugged. A brown haired dwarf uh, with a long dwarvish beard. Uh, that comes down into two long braids, and there's certain, you know, thinner braids coming down the side of his hair. Oh, good afternoon, everyone. Uh, welcome to the Smiling Champion. Uh, what can I interest all of you in? I want a weapon that does magical damage. Do you have anything like that? Well, let me see. What the... Uh, I'm looking for possibly... Did you take out the Moon Touch Sword when you did that? Yes. Something like this? Oh, or... I have something like that. They have a battle axe that does that. That's what I need. You want the moon touch? Oh, no problem. No, not moon touch. What else do you got for battle axe? Do you have oh. any other battle axes? Battle axes? Oh, Excuse but me. right now all I got is the moon touch. Damn it. Uh, let me see. I have these other things here if you wish. Do you have another l- long sword? Can you carry a that's long sword with. That's what I have as a well, moon touch. As a Kensei monk? I get okay. um, access to weapons. One of the better things I have right now, it, I don't know what your price range is, but one of the better items I have right now, and he takes out this, it looks only like a hilt. Oh, uh, there's no blade okay. attached, it's, it's just a hilt. And it looks like the hilt of the sword that I have upstairs. It looks like that. Slight curvature to it. Well, so now, all you have to do is you just give it a little... 
and he shakes it with his uh, with his wrist and this sh- almost like sunlight, a blade made of almost pure sunlight springs from the handle. Uh-huh. Well, this is a sun blade. Okay. <laughs> That's right. So, um, well, you can use a bonus action to cause a blade of pure radiance to spring into existence. Uh, while the blade exists, uh, the sword has the finesse property. Um, you gain a plus two bonus to attack and damage rolls. When you hit undead with it, the target takes an extra D8 radiant damage. And it... it, it emits bright light in a 15-foot radius, dim for an additional 15 feet. Is it anything it hits radiant damage, or is it still... Uh, and is it a long sword, great sword? It deals sword? radiant damage instead of slashing. Okay. okay. And undead take an extra D8 damage. Undead just take an extra D8, yep. but it's radiant damage. Radiant damage instead of slashing. That's pretty cool. Okay, what size... What? Size weapon is it? It's uh, it would be it's a finesse longsword. It's a longsword that could also be finesse. So these two wouldn't be able to use it. They could. The, the, finesse can go either way. You can use strength if you want. Oh well, no. I mean, I have I have proficiency in longsword. It's, it's effectively a longsword. Okay. But it has the finesse How property, which much? means it can also be dex. How much? Uh, this is uh, asking price fourteen hundred gold. It's a plus two weapon that does radiant damage. You're, that's a steal <laughs> before you give me shit for 1400 <laughs> See her going, whoa, and this one jumps. Yeah, that's a steal. Oof, plus that's two a, weapon oof, at level six. You're oof. welcome. <laughs> I loved how angry you got to find defending your price. <laughs> <laughs> I see the little bit that this might be out of your price range. I completely uh, understand. I didn't say that. I oh. didn't say that. Well, okay. Yeah, First well. off, battle axe. Moon Touch, the only one you have right now. Right now, for Battle Lex, all I have is Moon Touch. What about doing a trade for this long sword, which is the Moon Touch, for the Battle Axe that's a Moon Touch? I'll do a stra- uh, Let me see the long sword. Examines it. Hmm. I took very good care of it. I could take a trade. I mean, the straight trade. You take, they give me this and take Battle Axe. I'm fine with that. Fuck yes. Okay. You can use a Battle Axe? As of 6th level, I got another Kenzai weapon. Okay. Okay. He, he makes a straight trade with you. Okay. So switch it out. You now have a Moon Touch Battle Axe instead of Long Sword. Okay. Anyone want to buy a Moon Touch Long Sword? <laughs> 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 no? Uh, okay. No, thanks. I'm good. Um, okay. And then, uh, ooh, it hurts, but I want that. I need the blade. It can be yours now for 1,400 gold. Okay. How about all of my friends here are also looking for some stuff. Maybe I can like see that. arrows and stuff like that. Do you think that if we can get like a bulk rate? Because I know this guy loves arrows. It depends what you like to buy. Okay. Definitely getting that. But arrows, hoping... I don't have a ton of arrows right now. Most of the things I have are up close, wacky, wacky. Okay. Okay. No bows. <laughs> Wacky wacky. I really don't trust him if he said wacky wacky for the combat <laughs> store. I'm just saying. Uh, at the moment, no. I do not have any special bows at the moment. I still also have stabby stab if you prefer that. Stabby stabs. Really? This cut cut. I have cut cut. So wait, Morpheus, oh. what were you looking Can for? I, <laughs> I was looking for some arrows, but I want to update my uh, my bow. He wants, oh, oh he's, you're he hoping does. to get like a plus one bow or something like so, that. Mm, well, let's go mm, check right. out the Arcana place. Well, does, uh, do you want to get armor while you, uh, Eleanor? No. You don't need any better armor? 17. You could do better than that. What arrows do you have? My AC is an 18. Oh, uh, right now. <laughs> it is an 18. We think we, we saw that, actually. Oh, did we? It actually is an 18. She yeah. Has, you yes, guys took... Yes, um, podcast family. You took Elven Half Plate off of one of the guards in that prison camp and gave it to her. So she was right. She was right. Yeah. So. <laughs> I did say if I if I edit any old episodes and I could figure out what it was, and no, 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 I did edit that one, and we figured out that's what it came from. Yes, we did. Um, he has... He's, you have you have flare arrows right now. He has. I have walloping three and I have one flare. He has another flare arrow, uh, for three hundred gold. He's also got a plus one flare arrow, but that's pricey. You're, that's several thousand mm-hmm. because it's a plus one. How much arrow. do you get that back? Yeah, no, it's the plus one enchantment stays on it. Yeah. 
And you just retrieve but it. But you'd have to retrieve it every time. You have to retrieve it. You can, yeah, every time you shot it. Yeah. How, um, how much is it? How much you got? <laughs> Excuse me. It's pricey. It's a plus one arrow. What is it? Actually, you know what? Now that I'm looking at it, it doesn't make sense that a plus one arrow is that much when the plus two sword is what it was. So we'll say uh, he can let that go for a thousand. Okay. I don't have to gamble. We're going to so. have to go gamble. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And sick. Eleanor, are you, are you sure you don't want anything? If you're just have... looking for a, um, just straight armor or just straight weapons, he's got everything. Mm-hmm. He doesn't have any magical heavy armor right now, but if you're looking for just an upgrade from, like, chain to splint or chain to plate, he's got chain, splint mail and plate mail. I have chain mail right now. Mm-hmm. I chain mail. I can give it. you... I have splint if you want. I can get you... I have splint around about 200 gold. Or if you want plate, plate is expensive. It requires a lot of craftsmanship. They did 1,500. 1500 and her AC would be. Uh, as a Warforged, that would get your AC to 19. Splint would get you to 18. Get some work I to think it's yeah. got some work to do. I think it's, I think it's worth I it if you have some money. I'm just going to put okay. that. Load this board. She's going to go wander over to Mouse's Vial. Okay. I'm going to walk with you. Lorelei follows. Okay, Mouse's Vial. Yeah, so nobody right. else is getting anything right now? No, oh. no, everything on hold. Yeah. But at least we know what we got. No, I'm going to get my sword. I need my sword. Okay, so just that you just get, oh you're get you're getting the sunblade. Yeah. All right, fourteen mark off fourteen hundred gold, <laughs> and you have a sunblade. So how do you hold all those things in a special well, bag? I have now. If I just only have a hilt that I have to hold, it's basically a lightsaber. It's basically a lightsaber, and then I can just put the the, the axe. axe on my back. Oh. Technically, I have a bow and arrow. Technically, Te- technically, I have a bow and arrow. Oh, so you got everything. Yeah. The sun blade to the blade looks like a katana. So mechanically, it's a longsword. All right, Mouse's Vile. Uh, this one is a, when you walk in, this uh, keeper is a female dwarf. She has like a dirty blonde hair uh, and a single braid pulled back, uh, weaved very tightly. Well, well. Welcome to the Mouse's Vial. Uh, what uh, can uh, we do for you today? I would like to know what the coolest thing in, in here is. Oh, everything I make I think is pretty cool. Uh, what, uh, <laughs> yeah. Are you after a uh, spell scroll? Are you after items, gemstones, uh, perhaps a little bit of enchanted uh, rocks or something? What is it you want to do? I be interested in anything that boosts magical power or spell scroll. What scrolls do you have? Uh, I have currently now ready to go. I do everything by order, but currently ready to go. I have this. Uh, she has a uh, one scroll of hypnotic pattern. Oh, okay. Uh, if you're looking to boost magical powers, let me see. Hmm. I have uh, this. Uh, she has an orb of shielding, which gives whoever's wearing it resistance to thunder damage. Okay. If you want me to just list the inventory, she has a stone of good luck. Oh, she has. How much stone. is it? That's 150 gold. Cannot believe that's only an uncommon item. I really can't. Um, if anybody doesn't want it, I want it, but I won't be greedy if you want it. No, I'll take it. Wait, what else you got? She has. Uh, I won't be greedy. Fucking shit. <laughs> she has one uh, potion of growth. Oh, gigantic lotus. She has a scroll of spirit guardians. Oh. A ring of fog cloud. That could be allows good. you to cast fog cloud once per day. Okay, how much is that? Five hundred. Ooh. Slippers of spider climbing. A uh, headband of intellect. <laughs> oh. You want him to wear a headband? What does that do? The headband of it intellect. Makes your... It makes your intelligence score 19. I just picture like the frilliest, mm. pinkest, most mm. beautiful you headband in the world. What does it look like? It looks I'll say like... it looks like a silver diadem with like a, a red <laughs> like gemstone. A, yeah. Why does your intelligence need to be a 19? I just need a diadem. 
<laughs> well, it can buy you a cheap but diet. Oh, so sorry. Uh, helm of Comprehending Languages. Mm. And she also has two much pricier items. Those are all under a thousand. Okay. Her two pricey items, she has a rope of entanglement for six thousand. And for uh, also for six thousand, a wand of fireballs. That sounds cool. You can't get excited over every single item. Yes, you can't get excited over I can't over buy any item. of those though. None of them are mine. I'm just excited for like everybody else who has money. So uh, I know, like so weird things I get excited about. The spider climbing slippers. <laughs> yes. I could just walk up walls and stuff. Yep. Oh, that would be... You have to start wearing pants. Are any of these uh, items attunement? Deal breaker. Um, <laughs> slippers of spider climb. No, no, no. That fog cloud thing, that would be cool because that's area of effect. Slippers of spider climbing are attunement. So can I wear two rings? I can wear two rings. You can wear as, wear as many rings as you want. Yeah, the yeah. ring of fog cloud is not a tumor. It's not? That is not a tumor. Oh, shit, man. You don't even need to be a spellcaster for it. Well, if you're wearing it, you can cast fog cloud uh, once per day. That's How much is the wand of fireball? 6,000. The, the headband of so. intellect? How much is that? 720. Seven twenty. If we can get 720, we're going to come back. Yeah, it. we're going to come back to that for you. That would be amazing. Your modifier would be a plus four. And That's awesome. Since we're about to go gamble, I am all about that stone of luck. Hand it over. I love it when Laura cuts to the chase. <laughs> and she's just like, let's stop bullshitting ourselves. We all know I'm buying the luck stone. <laughs> okay. That is also That is also attunement. Okay. Um you get a plus one to all ability checks and saving throws. <laughs> and it is uncommon. I can't fucking believe that's only that's, one common That's item. a hugely giant potion. One potion of growth. Uh, that's for 345. I'm sorry, to all what? Checks? Is and saving throws. Plus one to all Plus checks. one to everything. Everything except attacks. Okay, so I'm going to get that. I am now attuned to that. Well, I will be attuned. No, how long does it take to attune to it? it doesn't... A short rest, about an hour. you got to sit with it for like an hour. Okay, we can't go gambling for at least an hour. Okay. You have time. It's only like four, four, like three thirty, four o'clock at this okay, point. Okay, so I have that, and I have the ring, and I have my wand. I'm good, right? That's three. Yeah, yeah. Okay. The ring of spell storing. You mean? Yes. Yep. Yeah. Those would be your three attunement slots. Yeah. But I could still get the fog cloud on top of that. Hmm. Okay. How's Kara doing through all this? Okay. Use anything you're interested in. <coughs> like Any the the scroll, the scroll of spirit guardians. Well, I have a spell by Spirit Guard. I know, this would give you one freebie, though. You want one, one, one ability to cast it without using a spell slot. Oh, I'll take it. Okay. Mark off 365 gold. Oh, oh why do I have more? I said, why do I have more? Oh, yeah. And I was like... Yeah. You, ca you can cast Spirit Guardians once without using a spell slot. But yeah. once you cast it, the spell, no, the, the scroll bad. basically disintegrates. Okay. I'm sorry, it was 150, right? 150 for the Stone of Good Luck, yeah. One, so that's one-time use only? Yes. Yeah, okay. Did anybody lovely. get the potion of growth? I no one bought that yet. It. I'm gonna buy. You know what? I'm just gonna get it while I'm here. I'm gonna get the. Uh, I'm gonna get the fog cloud. Okay. Mark off another 500 gold. 500. You have the ring of fog cloud. Damn it! If we give it to him, I think we should make it a bandana. I think. Just <laughs> <laughs> okay. I, I can be about that. <laughs> It'd be like one of those little half bandanas yeah, yeah, yeah. that pirates wear. Yeah, it yeah. just has the little knot back there. Yeah. Okay, we can make it. We can make it a bandana. I'm fine with that. So, so like, that and the growth. I can buy that you're buying right them both. Now. Yeah. Okay, so if no, you're yeah. if you're buying them both, Morpheus, that will be seven twenty. So one thousand sixty five gold, and that'll get you the headband of intellect and the potion of growth. I could buy that, but then I've only got like a hundred and fifty three dollars to gamble. Laura like kind of sticks out her hand and points to the the wand of fireball. And that that I'm coming back for that. Oh. If you wish to put... If you, oh, I, I was going in Rowena for a second. <laughs> if you wish to put down a deposit, I can put it on hold for you. Yeah, put mine on hold. Both items? Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll give you 100 in gold. Okay, we'll call 10% deposit. Okay, I'll put the headband and uh, 
Beauty, or the other thing you want? Growth. Long- the portion of growth, I put that on hold for you. I put Thank it you. here. So 600 gold, and that thing goes on hold for me. Yes. Oh, okay. I'll put it right here for you. You got the wand of fireball, right? I didn't get it. On you hold. put it on the She has you a put deposit. It on the deposit. Yeah. Okay. All right. It's on retainer. Orb of shielding? That's expensive. It's um, right. it's out of another book. What is it? Uh, this one is is attuned to thunder damage. Whoever has it has resistance to thunder damage. Oh, you are. Oh, and hi, uh, <laughs> pattern. R- scroll of hypnotic pattern, five hundred gold. Oof, never mind. All right, guys, I'm good. All right. I got the ring and the luck stone. I'm good. Okay. And okay. You got the scroll. Yes, I do. And what did you get? I would have to go back and get the armor, armor. later. Later date. It will work on that. Yeah. Which was what, about 500? Depending on which one you wanted. If you want splint, which will make your armor class 18, that'll be 200 gold. Mm -hmm. If you want plate, which will make your armor class 19, that's 1500 gold. How much gold do you currently gamble with? That's a lot of metal. That's a lot of metal. $1,153. Would that affect my dexterity or my athletic? No, no, like more minus. $1,000 to gamble? I got 539. I got 539. So add that with yours and that's what we got. Yeah, we're at about 1700 I'm gambling. I've decided. It's 21 or over. Yeah. She's going for six now. She can disguise herself. How much money you got? Enough. I'm offering, do you want me to, like, put money in? I don't know how much of this I'm actually going to lose, so... I'll this, keep it over here. <laughs> yeah. This is my first time gambling. <laughs> oh, this is so, so exciting. Right? You better um, keep an eye on So is everybody going, gambling. and I'm just going to be hanging out by myself? Are you going? No. Okay, well, I'm, gonna, no. I'm going to watch you. You're going to watch me? It's almost like I could say babysit, but you know. I have a babysitter. You. Okay. <laughs> okay. Do right. you need some money for me before you go? Yeah, make it uh, an even so we have two. Two grand? Okay. Two grand. Yeah. So, so how much do you need? $300. 300, 300 gold. Minus 300, I owe you. Okay. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> All right. Okay. So we're going over. Come we're spot. Going over to Lorelai turns to Althea. I can't disguise you two, so... No, nah, it's cool. I'll head back with them. Okay. Go go practice your things. And don't hurt anyone. Kara, are you going back to the tavern, or are you going gambling? No, I'm going to be in the tavern. Okay. Yeah. So you're going with Eleanor and Spot. Mm-hmm. Yep. Yay, split the party. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I don't like the way the further. DM said, yay, split the party. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Nice and he's smiling. It's too late already. <laughs> I'm going to ask Kara, do you want to come with me over to the Fate Toss Flight? Because I want to see what they have, too. Sure. Okay. So I guess just the two of us, we're going to go over to... I want to see... I'm looking for Sending Stones in the city. Looking for Sending Stones? Yeah. Okay, make an investigation check. So you're, you're looking for Sending Stones, or are you going to Fate Toss Flight? Answer the question, please. Looking for sending stones, not 20. You find them. Yay! Sweet. <laughs> sending stones, how much are they? Nice. See us with our bags, our Macy's, <laughs> our bags, and, you know, maybe we should go back and bring everything to you. I'll say yeah, 300. Just stacking up yeah. the over here. 300. <laughs> really glad I didn't give anybody else any money. Okay, perfect. Thank you very much. And do you know, whoever I'm talking to, do you know where I can buy um, little dolls? Like dolls for little kids. Oh, that's easy enough. Yeah. How much are they? Two gold. Yeah. (laughs) Platinum. (laughs) For each. Little kids doll? Not even two gold, but two silver for kids dolls? Yeah. Two silver. I just want to get one. Okay. Don't even mark it. (laughs) Don't even mark it down. As per Kristen, I'm not going to mark it down. Okay. Okay. Uh, okay, I get the doll, I get the sending stones. Let's go. Who's getting the other stone? Um, I think you guys are already at the thing. Well, we're walking over. I don't trust her, but okay. Okay, Super so Lorelai has one and you have one? Yeah, but I think I'm going to give it to Eleanor. Okay, so you have one half of the sending stones and Lorelai has the other okay. half. Okay. Okay, so now we're, now we're splitting? Yes. Yep, let's so split. So Lilith, Lorelai, and Morpheus are heading to the Roaring Jolly. Mm-hmm. And I'm going back to play with my dolls. 
Okay. <laughs> and Spot, Kara, and Eleanor are heading back to Towers Twilight. Yeah. Yep. What is the predominant race here? Dwarf. Dwarf? Yeah. She changes herself into a female redhead dwarf. <laughs> okay. Craft. That's good. No beard. She's a female. Okay. <laughs> um, so, <laughs> as our party divides, one sending stone to, on one end and one sending stone on the other, and heading to our separate destinations, uh, let's take a quick break there.